Hi all, we're making this video, we're preparing the brushless setup to be running now one of our new combat robots and we're uh, testing the speed controller setup and we're coming across a problem. Uh, this is our testing setup and it's very similar to the final. Um, we've got a 5 cell LiPo, um, this is a 150 amp uh, YEP brushless speed controller um, and we've got a Spectrum DXXI and Orange RX and just to test, this just show you that the setup works fine um, this is uh, an old Align brushless inrunner. It sounds pretty rough, but we can tell for sure that it's running as it should. Uh, now, if you want to hold that well, once it's, once it's, yeah. If you just buzz it up. So that's clearly working absolutely fine. Um, now we're going to just plug in the um, this motor. This is the one we want to use in the final machine. This is uh, a Turnergy SK3 inrunner, fan drive inrunner, um, designed for um, EDF planes. And we're finding it's behaving a bit weirdly. Um, it doesn't appear to have any kind of power. You know, we'd expect it to behave just like the other one. It's a 1500 kV motor, so at five cell, it's doing you know. 20, 30,000 RPM. We don't get the little beepy noises around the uh, speed control. Didn't it do it? No. That might That's be odd. significant. Yeah. I thought it did it a minute ago when we were testing. Definitely. No, didn't do it then. Here's what happens. That's even, that's different again to a... No, that, that's weird. That's a... Ah. Notice again, notice be warm. Now, the other one we didn't even go past half throttle, and you could hear, even though it's rough sounding, that sounded like a 15 or 20,000 RPM motor. This should be doing the same sort of speeds, and you can see, you can hear that it's not. And a thing to note is that the motor can is getting very, very hot, even just running no load and apparently no power. And very slow to react. Yes. So. It should be violent, just like the other one. Um, our setup hasn't changed at all, only the motor. So we're a bit stumped. We don't really know what could be going on. We've wondered if it could be a faulty motor. Um, wondering maybe if the speed controllers have all sorts of variable options. Maybe um, it's some sort of safety mechanism. It's, it's not liking some sort of setup with this motor and, it, and it's holding it back for safety. We don't know. We're, we're passing it over the internet to see, uh, see if you have any ideas. So uh, if you have any uh, suggestions, uh, post in the comments below and we'll be very grateful. Thank you. Thank you.